Hello friends, welcome to yet another session of the video lecture series on English phonetics. So coming to mother tongue interference. So in bilingual situations, the first language that we acquired tends to influence the second language that we are uh, learning at a later stage in our life. In the Indian situation, many of us are uh, familiar when you of us have acquired the mother tongue be it Malayalam, Tamil, Gujarati, Hindi or any language. After a certain period we start learning English. So definitely the phonological system of the mother tongue tends to influence the uh, phonological system of a foreign language like English. So when we come across an unfamiliar sound in English we have a tendency to replace that unfamiliar sound with the nearest equivalent from our mother tongue. This tendency is referred to as mother tongue interference which leads to mispronunciations. So we will discuss certain instances of mother tongue interference regarding Indian learners of English. Okay. The first one undifferentiation of certain vowel sounds. It very often happens with the vowel sound O and O sounds. Okay, so we pronounce this as caught and this one caught. So here it is the O, the short vowel, and here the long vowel. So many of the Indian learners have a tendency to use the O sound, the long vowel form, for both these sounds, both these words. Okay, and here it is caught and chalk okay so caught and chalk so at least some of the indian learners of english it may differ there are from region to region they have a tendency in south india we have a tendency to use the sound r as it is chalk and cart okay so this is undifferentiation of certain vowels the indian learners fail to recognize the difference between certain vowel sounds okay. so the next problem with Indian speakers, monophthongization of certain diphthong sounds. We know diphthongs, diphthongs are represented by digraphs having two sounds, two vowel sounds. The tongue starts in the position of one vowel sound and it glides or moves to the position of the next vowel sound, that is we call diphthongs as vowel glides. So regarding Indian speakers, they have a tendency to uh, make certain diphthongs monophthongs or vowels. We will take some examples. So this song is to be pronounced as go okay go this uh sound so most of the indian learners replace this diphthong sound with o and we tend to pronounce it as go okay go similar is the case of no it is pronounced o okay the o uh sound getting replaced by the monophthong or o Okay, we tend to pronounce it as no. Okay, it is not no, it is no. This one go. Then this word it is table. Okay, table. So this a sound, this is a diphthong sound. We have a tendency to pronounce it as table. Okay, this we tend to pronounce replace this sound with a. This table not table it is table okay table then two a okay this is oo sound it is a diphthong two a okay most of the indian learners pronounce it as two okay oo and we add a r sound also so oo we replace this oo with oo so it is two a okay so that's the monophthongization of certain diphthong sounds. The next common error is substitution of vowels from mother tongue. Okay. So these are some sounds, vowel sounds, which are not common in our mother tongue. This a, a, a and a. Okay. The other sounds e, e, u, u, o, o, these sounds are already there in our mother tongue and we don't have any problem in dealing with words having these sounds but coming to these sounds a a 
a and a okay let us look at some words having these sounds bus so a okay bus we have a tendency to pronounce it as bes okay a bes this one is a go okay a Oh, okay. A go, a go. The Indian learners pronounce this sound as a go. Okay, a go. Here, mispronunciation happens at two levels. The first, a uh, sound. This is not a familiar sound in our mother tongue. We tend to replace this a uh, with a. The second problem that we discussed earlier, we are trying to. Uh, reduce this diphthong sound into a monophthong okay we are instead of o we are replacing it with o okay so we tend to mispronounce this word as a go then coming to girl a uh, okay this is the long form of this sound a uh, a uh, girl the indian learner has a tendency to pronounce it as a girl okay girl a uh, a a girl this one is apple okay a sound apple we tend to mispronounce this word as apple okay. up it is not apple it is apple the next word first uh okay the uh sound the indian learners has a tendency to pronounce it as first okay not first it is first first so it's bus a go girl apple first so the next category adding intrusive vowels okay we we'll look at some words bottle pencil button sudden it's bottle pencil button sudden we'll add one more this is pronounced as film okay so the indian learners or the indian speakers try to intrude or introduce a an additional vowel in between these sounds okay so we have a tendency to pronounce it as bottle okay instead of bottle this we tend to pronounce it as bottle then instead of pencil we pronounce it as pencil and button button then sudden again is pronounced as sudden then film we tend to include an e sound again here it is we pronounce it as film okay it's film sudden button pencil bottle and coming to the mispronunciations in the case of consonants almost all indian learners have difficulty in pronouncing the this sounds the the okay mispronouncing the these two sounds r and z we tend to replace the z with the nearest equivalent from our mother tongue in malayalam it is t in hindi it is this sound ta okay and coming to z in malayalam the z sound and in hindi it may be this sound da okay so here it is to be pronounced as fin fin thick think okay we tend to pronounce these sounds as thin thick think okay it is not th th is a plosive okay it is not a plosive it is a fricative sound which comes here it is thin 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 the tip of the tongue coming very close to the upper row of teeth without touching it that is it means it is not creating an obstruction if it is making an obstruction it the sound is to be categorized as a 
plausible. So it is thin, thick, think. Okay, coming to here, this, these sounds, this, that, father. Okay, the Indian learners mispronounce this as this, that, father. Okay, it is not that, this, that, father. So another instance of mispronunciation of consonant is the substitution of this semi-vowel sound v with the labiodental sound v. Okay. The labiodental sound, the lower lip and upper row of teeth v and this one is a semi-vowel v. Okay. These sounds, these words have to be pronounced as water, what, why. The Indian learners tend to pronounce it as water, what why which when this is to be pronounced as v we have to clearly distinguish these two sounds one is v and the other one v so presence of double consonants in spelling certain consonants may occur as pairs but in pronunciation there is no such doubling okay so r u b b e r we pronounce it as rubber okay rubber p e p p e r we pronounced it as pepper okay pepper so this is rubber and pepper so in our mother tongue there is a provision of this doubling of consonants so we have a tendency to pronounce it as rubber and pepper okay so there is no doubling happening in the english pronunciation so it is to be pronounced as rubber and pepper so another instance of mispronunciation regarding consonant sounds is the substitution of sh the substitution of sh sound for r okay we know these are fricative sounds and this sound r is not there in most of the Indian languages. So there are only limited number of words having this sound r. Okay, this occurs in the initial position in a word called g e n r e, just to be pronounced as genre. Okay, genre. Coming to these two words, p l e a s u r e, we pronounce it as it as pleasure. Pleasure. This word is pronounced measure. 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 Pleasure. So the Indian speakers substitute this sound sh for r, and we pronounce it as pleasure. Okay, and measure. Okay, pleasure. Measure it is to be pronounced as r as pleasure, measure. So the dropping of the final v sound. Okay. So most of the Indian speakers have a tendency to drop this v sound from certain words when words occur in a combination. Like here, it is five paise. Okay. So the Indian speakers have a tendency to pronounce it as fi. Okay. So it's instead of this v sound, this v is missing here. We unconsciously drop this v sound and we pronounce it as five paise. It is it should be five paise or five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay, right. Thank you for your patient listening.